For many, art is an escape from reality, a way in which artists express their emotions, whether it be from pain, happiness, or sadness. This is something that deeply resonated with artist Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo's art, mostly derived of self-portraits that portrayed her in good health and as a mother, desires her reality did not provide for her. Hi, my name is Crystal Amador, and today I will be discussing Frida Kahlo's life. To better understand Frida Kahlo's life, first I will discuss her early life and then her artistic career. Let's start with her early life. Frida Kahlo's early life could be divided into her uh, childhood, her teenage years, and a terrible accident that she had at 18 years old that heavily impacted her life and her art. Let's start with her childhood. According to the Frida Kahlo Foundation, Frida was born uh, Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo Calderon. She was born on July 6, 1907 in the outskirts of Mexico City in a town called Coyoacan. She contracted polio at age six and was said to have spina bifida, a congenital disease that affects leg and spinal development. Polio held her back from school. So she lied about her age and chose 1910 as her birth year to coincide, to, to coincide with the Mexican Revolution. Now let's talk about her teenage years. Frida Kahlo participated in many sports as a teenager, including boxing, which helped develop her leg and mental stability. In 1922, at age 15, Frida was enrolled in the Preparatoria, which according to the Frida Kahlo Foundation, was one of Mexico's premier schools. Frida was one of 35 girls, and this is where she met her future husband, Diego Rivera, who was already a popular artist. During her years at the Preparatoria, Frida Kahlo witnessed a lot of pain and struggle and violence as the Mexican Revolution continued. Now let's talk about Frida Kahlo's terrible accident. According to Frida Kahlo, the portrait of an artist, Frida Kahlo was involved in a terrible accident that changed her life forever in ways unimaginable. She was traveling home on a school bus when suddenly the school bus collided with a trolley car. The accident drove a piece of iron through her pelvis and her back. She went through as many as 35 operations throughout her life and she had to struggle with the effects and the pain until the day she died. Although, her accident is what drove her to paint. She had to spend a lot of time on her back, so painting was an easy and an enjoyable escape. Now that we discussed Frida Kahlo's childhood, her teenage, year, her teenage years, and her terrible accident, let's get into her artistic career. After the accident, Frida did not return to school. Instead, she focused on painting. It was Tina Modetti and Diego Rivera who introduced her to art and leftist politics. Diego Rivera was a great muralist who influenced Frida's art and her life. In 1929, Frida married Diego Rivera in a civil ceremony. Their marriage was very turbulent and stormy. They both had affairs, and Frida's affairs mostly involving women. What, did, what they did share in common was that they expressed their social and political views through art. In 1930, Frida and Diego moved to San Francisco, where Diego Rivera was being commissioned for his art. During this time, Frida Kahlo suffered through many, many, many miscarriages, which resulted in her painting Henry Ford Hospital. While she was in America, she also learned of her mother's illness and passing, which also resulted in um, a famous painting called My Birth. Rivera began to act as Frida's manager and encouraged her to sell her artwork. In 1938, Diego Rivera convinced film star Edward G. Robinson to purchase four of Frida Kahlo's paintings. Andre Breton, a surrealist poet and an essayist, asked Frida Kahlo to take part in an exhibition he held in Paris in 1939. Frida and Diego had a very stormy and turbulent marriage as mentioned before. They had many marital issues. So they separated, and Diego Rivera moved to San Francisco. Although after a year, Frida Kahlo decided to travel to San Francisco, and the couple reconciled. They also decided to remarry. When Frida returned to Mexico, she was offered a teaching position, a prize, and a fellowship. 
Her work was finally being recognized because of her exhibitions abroad in Mexico City's own um, exhibition on surrealism. In 1953, uh, Lola Alvarez, who was a famous photographer, held a solo exhibition of Frida's artwork. This would be Frida Kahlo's first solo exhibition. She was in very poor health and could not attend the gallery unless she delivered her bed directly to the gallery so she, so she could take part and attend. After the exhibition, Frida's right foot was amputated because of gangrene. Her health was worsening and she even um, attempted suicide several times. Frida Kahlo died on July 13th, 1954, and the cause of death was a pulmonary embolism. After her terrible accident, Frida Kahlo began to paint self-portraits that became very popular for their intimate and more expressive take on muralism art. Today, I discuss Frida Kahlo's early life as well as her artistic career. In conclusion, Frida Kahlo's artwork took a long time to be recognized. However, she did not paint for notoriety or um, financial reasons. She painted to escape her reality. Although, she did take pride in her artistic achievements. And in 1984, the Mexican government recognized her as a prominent artist and decreed her art as a national patrimony. One's passions not only help them through hard times, but also help leave a mark. In Frida's case, she left a mark on Mexican culture and on feminism, which most certainly made her proud before the time of her death. Thank you.